Good day, teachers. I'm Teacher Justin, and I'm going to teach you how to use Answer Garden. So today's discussion, what we're going to do is we're going to answer some questions. When are we going to use it, and how are we going to use it? So first thing that we need to do is go to our website, which is AnswerGarden.ch. So type nyo lang yun, and then we will proceed to this um homepage. And then here you're going to immediately create your answer garden. From here you're going to um, start creating. Okay. So first topic required. Kaya ko ano yung questions na gusto niyo ilagay for um, your answer garden. Okay. Then you're going to type one yung question mo. So so for me, ayan, what do you miss the most during this ECQ? Yeah. So Ito yung gagawin kong um, question. This will be my question. Okay? So next, more option. Ito na tayo sa more option. Let's set up our um, answer garden. So, anong mode siya? So, first, meron tayong apat na modes. We have brainstorm, classroom, moderator, and we have locked. So, brainstorm, ito. Uh, respondent can submit an a limited number of answers, including unlimited copies of the same answer. So in short, you can use this for brainstorming. If you want um, your students to um, brainstorm on a certain project, ayan, pwede nyo tong gamitin for them to make their own brainstorming. And next, we have classroom. This is for teachers. You can use um, the classroom mode. Okay, You can ask your student or student to submit unlimited number of answers but may only submit each answer once. So, they will enter and then proceed to the next one. They can type again and then enter and so on and so forth. Next, we have the moderator. Itong moderator mode, ito, pwede kayong mag-remove ng mga entries na hindi um, kailangan. Okay? So, answers will be submitted to the anti-garden. So, you can manually remove these entries to your answer garden. Okay? So, you are going to their answers first before posting it or bago siya lumabas na sa garden. And we have the lock mode. Ito yung lock mode naman is, ayan, it is closed and no new answer can be submitted. So, for example, yung students mo, inopen na yung site nila, tapos nag-type na sila ng answer, tapos hindi na sila pwedeng mag-entry ulit. Unlike doon sa classroom na pwedeng unlimited answer. Dito, one answer per student lang. Okay? Okay. Next, answer length. So, for this um, answer garden, limited lang yung answers nila. Okay, hindi pwedeng isang paragraph, hindi sila pwedeng gumawa ng essay. Dito, good for 20 to 40 characters. So, kayo yung magsaset kung ilang characters yung pwede. So, meron tayong pinakamababa, which is 20. Meron tayong pinaka uh, marami, which is 40. So, if you have 20 maximum characters, pwede. Or if you want 40, ayan. Next, admin password. So, if you want this to be very locked na hindi makaka-access kahit sino man, okay, you can um, choose a password and you can just share the password to your students. Okay, so type your password here. Okay, go on. Okay, next, reminder email. Ayan, if you want to receive emails from Answer Garden, ayan. Next, the spam filter. Ayan, dito pwede nyong i-remove yung mga unwanted, unwanted answers galing sa mga students nyo. So, for example, may mga nagmura or may mga unpleasant words that you don't want anyone to see. You can um, remove it. Just turn it on. Kung off siya, eh, hindi nyo magagalaw. As is siya. So, yeah. So, on. Next, case. Um, so, paano siya lalabas? Kung lowercase ba or uppercase? Ayan. Tapos, um, sige. Then after that, you can now click create. So when you created it, ito yung magiging itsura niya. So, ayan yung magiging itsura niya. So, sinagot na ng mga students ko what they, uh, what they miss the most okay, during this ECQ. Ayan, so if you can see, ayan yung mga answers nila kung ilan yung nagsagot ng mga yan. Okay, and if you can notice... Ayan. If you notice this, may malaking um, word, my friends, which is apat na students yung nagsagot. Ayan. Apat na students yung nagsagot. Tapos, eto, ayan, tatlong students naman itong 9-2, which is our 
at um, our class. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you can um, observe then, 40 characters remaining. So, pwede kayo mag-type. Even you teachers, pwede kayo mag-type. So, let's apply my advisory class. Advisory class. Okay. 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 Then, I'll click submit. And then, so thanks. And makaka-receive siya ng thanks. Type another answer here. So, pwede pa rin ako mag-type. And I can see kung saan yung sagot ko. Ito, yung naka, naka blue. Naka light blue. Naka highlight. Ayan, that's my answer. Okay? Now, if you want to encode more or type more, kayo bahala. Okay? If you want, express yourself. Actually, as many as you want. Yun din yung gusto ko sa mga um, students ko. They want to If they want to express their um, answer for more words, okay lang. Go type answer. Lagay nyo lang lahat ng gusto nyo ilagay. Okay, now how to share it. Ito, meron ding option dito on how to share your um, answer garden. So, dito, pwede kayong i-share sa, fa sa Facebook, sa Twitter, uh, yung mga sites na yan, social media networks. Now, actually, you can also embed it in your um, website. If you have a website, ayan, you can copy this um, this link. And then, you can, um, ilagay nyo siya sa code ninyo. Ayan, you can copy and share it sa website ninyo. Embed nyo siya sa website ninyo. If you have a blog, ayan, a website, you can use this, um, code. Kung code nyo tawag dyan. And then, embed it in your site. Next, ito. Copy the link and then post it. Next, export. Ayan. You can export the result. Ayan, yung papakita nyo yung result. Pwede nyo siya ipakita sa Twitter, sa Wordy, and tag. Actually, yeah, then, if you want to um, share it, or share share the answer, okay, sa PowerPoint presentation, simple lang, print screen, and then paste it in your PowerPoint presentation, di ba? Okay, next, about, okay, dito, okay, sa about, kailan siya ginawa? Okay, it is created 7th of May, 2020, in this time. Question, ito yung question na tinaip ko. You can submit unlimited answers but only single copy per answer. Ayan, classroom mode. And you have answered on this device. Ayan. Yes, nagsagot tayo. Ito yung sagot natin. Okay. Uh, makikita nung user kung ano yung sinagot niya, ano yung tinaip niya. Next, you can also use QR code. Ayan. Ito, meron siyang QR code na you can copy and then paste and copy um print screen task paste niya sa PowerPoint presentation then scan na lang ng viewers ng audience niyo or yung students niyo and then immediately they will go to this website already di ba may QR code next local ayan okay so admin kung may password kung maglalagay kayo ng password and refresh if there will be so many entries or there will be entries na uh, madadagdag ayan Refresh and refresh lang kayo ng refresh. And if you can observe na lilipat-lipat yung mga words, okay? Pag nagre-refresh kayo. Okay? And don't worry, walang nabubura dyan. Okay? Ayan. Refresh, 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 refresh. And that's it. Ganun lang kasimple yung answer garden. So, just follow all those steps para maging interactive yung classroom natin and ma-engage natin yung mga um, audience natin to participate. So, ayan, kailan natin gagamitin or when are we going to use this um, this Answer Garden app? You can use this in the form of feedbacking or actually pwede rin siya sa introduction. Where you can interact with your audience or your learners by asking questions, um, gathering some information, and yun, tanong lang. Then after that, you will see the results. Pwede din natin siyang gamitin sa mga seminars, ayan, sa mga nagwe-webinar na um, if you want to ask your um, audience a question tapos it's an op um, it should be an open-ended question para ayun marami silang possible answers and doon makikita nila <coughs> mas ma-appreciate nila kasi makikita nila yung sagot nila dun sa word garden tapos you're just going to share your screen makikita nila 
oy, eto yung sagot ko, ayan yung sagot niyan, ayan, and so on and so forth, makikita nila, oy, may kapareho pala ako ng sagot. Okay, yun din pala yung thinking niya. You can um, engage your learner to participate, or your audience to participate, and also, kayo din, you can also um, know what they are thinking. Diba? Before I end this video, ayan, I'm going to um, place the link down below in order for you to try um, this answer garden site and also I'm going to post a question ayan, itong question na to makikita nyo din yung link sa description and I'm going to ask you what are your thoughts on this new normal okay, so try to answer dun sa link below okay, and that's it teachers thank you for watching my video I hope that you like, comment and subscribe and for more videos, kindly check my channel, Teacher Justin. Ayan. That is a goodbye. God bless and stay safe, everyone. See ya.